Hello, welcome to my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. This is Sichamba Jacob. Alright, so uh, here we've been told to find uh, the acceleration. So now looking at the question or the diagram that we have, we have uh, this graph accelerating from here and here we must know that it's zero. So from zero all the way up to here. Okay, so our focus will just be this side, where it was accelerating. This side, it's decelerating. So the first thing is to know the formula for finding acceleration, which is uh, acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity over time. So this is the formula that uh, we must know. Okay. So follow me, watch the video up to the end. I'm going to show you two methods on how you can find the uh, acceleration. So here, after identifying the, the formula that you're supposed to, to use, you gather your data. So we're going to say data here. So what is A? A is acceleration. And this is what we are looking for. What about V? V is uh, the final velocity. So final velocity will be right here. So look acceleration it was accelerating going upwards upwards up at, up until it reached here okay so this is where the final velocity is so when you reach here this point just look at the velocity this side it's 24 the initial velocity initial velocity it's where it started from it started from zero so you write zero okay and then the time you just go where final velocity is here at this point it's here now go down here check the time it's a two okay it's two seconds so this is our data and this is the data that we need to use in order for us to find the acceleration okay so let me put it here so i'm going to say data my v is that a 24 my u is a zero and t is a two okay so this is what we need so far to answer the question and remember i said i'm going to show you two methods for now you can find uh, the acceleration so let's plug in our equation our formula so, so to say so our v is a 24 minus our u there what is our u our u is a zero if you're able to see over our t is a two so you work out things 24 minus zero is 24 over a two so when you divide two into two one into 24 it's a 12. so this is 12 meters per second squared this is our solution okay so now the other method that you can use to find acceleration, you just need to identify the coordinates. Okay? We know that acceleration is the same as a gradient. So you identify the coordinates at this point and uh, this point. So if you can see here, it's a 0, 0, while here it's a 2, 24. 2, 24. So when you identify the coordinates like that, you use the formula of finding gradient. We know the formula for finding gradient, it's, a, it's like this. This is the formula for finding a gradient. In case you did not know, this is the formula that you need to know. So now, the coordinates that we have are 0, 0 and 2, 24. So out of these coordinates, you identify your x1, y1, x2, y2. So upon identifying, we now plug in our formula. So uh, we're going to say m is equal to, what is our y2? Our y2 is a 24 minus our y1, 0 over our x2 is a 2 minus x1, which is a 0. We have a 24 there over a 2, which is equal to 12 meters per second squared so this is our acceleration or what you need to know is that acceleration is the same as the gradient okay all right so now let's see 
you've been given the acceleration, okay? Let's say we've been given the acceleration, okay? And uh, here, let's say here, we have uh, a V, and we are looking for V. We've been given our acceleration, and let's say here it's four, 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 four seconds, eight here, and uh, 12 here. So they've, they've given us our acceleration. Let's say the acceleration uh, is equal to, let me put it up here. So acceleration is equal to, let's say 12 meters per second squared. They have given us the acceleration, which is 12 meters per second, okay, squared. And they want us to find the value of V. How do we find the velocity? We still use the same formula, acceleration, and then V minus U over time. What is our acceleration? It's a 12, which is equal to final velocity. When we move final velocity here, looking here, it's a V minus initial velocity where it started from, which is a zero over the time here where it stopped accelerating here. It's a four. Okay. So you work out things. We have a 12 is equal to V over four here. We know that there's a one here, one times V, it's a V, which is equal to uh, 12 times four. What is 12 times four? It's uh, 48 meters per second, not squared actually, 20, uh, 48 meters uh, per second. That's all. The units for velocity, because this is velocity, it's meters per second. That's all. Thank you so much for watching this video. If it has been beneficial to you, please remember to like the video, comment, share, and subscribe, as, as well as following me on my Facebook page, Jacob Sichamba Online Math. Bye-bye.